after we got married, just one day, she turned into the devil. That's the devil right That's there. That's the devil right That's there. The devil. <laughs> After only one year of dating, Amber had fallen hard for Brandon, and he believed he'd found his forever love. But now, with just one year of matrimony behind them, the couple is ready to play the wedding video in reverse. I can't do anything. Like, anything that doesn't involve her is, like, the end of the world. He went to Florida and stayed at his ex's house in her bed. He told for me four days. I mean, he's calling me names I can't even say on here. The same person and she met is the same person I am now. Amber and Brandon crossed over to the dark side. Tell me what does she do when she's being with that? I get all red, you know. I... Well, wait a minute now. Let me... Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Amber Kramer and Brandon Kramer. Mr. and Mrs. Kramer, you've been married a little over a year. You have 14-month-old twins at home, and you're already ready to call it a day. Uh, you have some financial issues you would like me to resolve, but before we get to that, Mrs. Kramer, I'm going to start with you. Why are we here? I'm here today, Your Honor, because I want a divorce. Um, I'm sick and tired of my husband pulling disappearing acts, abandoned me and our two children, which are 14-month-old twins. He has went to Florida. Um, he stole my laptop and my ex, our, our Xbox, pawned it to fund his trip. Um, I didn't find out where he was for a day and a half. He told me he was... Where do you live? You live in North Carolina. Yes. So one day you woke up, he was gone? We were arguing the night prior, uh -huh. and I told him to leave. He went and stayed at one of my family members' house. Uh -huh. um, he actually came the next morning to pick up our kids because I had to go to school. And I told him, don't be there when I get back. I wanted a break because I was working full time and going to school full time. Yeah, okay. That's not what happened. She's lying. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you I'm gonna give me an opportunity okay. to, to, to tell your side of the story. So, so tell me about the part when he disappeared. Um, I'm at school. My, my sister's calling me and texting me telling me that Brandon told her he was going to go look for a job and that he was supposed to be back an hour before, uh, an hour ago. And he wouldn't answer the call, her calls or texts. Um, so I start calling him and texting, and he wouldn't answer. But I didn't think, you know, anything of it because it's typical of him to ignore our phone calls. Mm -hmm. So I go home, and my laptop's missing, my Xbox is missing. So then I'm getting, I'm starting you to think. You don't even play Xbox. What are you talking about? Hang on, Miss Kramer. Go ahead, Mrs. Kramer. I'm starting to think, you know, well, where did he go with all this stuff? And I go pick up the kids um, from my my family members, and I'm calling him, texting him, like, you know constantly because by that time I'm mad and he ignored it um, I didn't talk to him for a day and a half and he told me he was in Georgia with his other son on the way home but didn't you tell the man not to be there when you got back exactly my point the I mean reason to me that means don't be here when I get back and part of not being there when he gets back is being someplace else yeah well I didn't really think he was going to take it into, you know, well, I'm just going to go all the way down to Florida, you know, and leave you and my kids. When I said, don't be there when I get back, I wanted a break because I worked full time. I went to college, well, I still do, go to college full time. You know, I have to cook, clean. I have to, I have to make his plate. Full time, all day smoking cigarettes? Come on, man. I have to make his no. plate and give it to him. Like, I do. You do everything. I do everything. And all he does is drink and play the Xbox all day long. Okay, Mr. Kramer, your your version of that. Do, do you uh, does she cook and clean, and do you drink and play Xbox all day? I drink all the time, but I mean, <laughs> I, well, hey. you're honest, and I appreciate that. Uh, I play the Xbox, but she gets to the point where it's like she'll get mad and like take the cords and stuff and hide them from me like a little child. Do you you work outside the home? Yeah. And you have 14 month old twins. Mm-hmm. And you have free time. Free time. How'd you manage that? He doesn't really work. Okay. You don't really work? I do work. I work part-time. You work part-time? Yeah, I'm a mechanic. Uh -huh. You're a mechanic. Yeah. I work off of the internet, but, I mean, sometimes I make good money, sometimes I don't, but all my money goes to her, and all she does is buy cigarettes with it. She smokes 24-7. Well, what do you do for a living? I'm, I'm a CNA, but right now I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I do go to college full-time, only because I had to quit my job, because our twins were born at 27 weeks. Um, so they had care for them. Yes, they had a lot of medical problems. My son was in the hospital for. You know why? Because she months. was smoking while she was pregnant. That's not why. I well, was let me ask 
ask you, let me ask you this. You told me about a time when he left you when you were 13 weeks pregnant. Yeah, um, I had, I was 13 weeks pregnant, and that's why the smoking thing is not true about, mm -hmm. that's why our kids were born so early. I was a centimeter dilated at 13 weeks. I was carrying twins, and the doctor just said, I'm not, you know, physically, you know, can't carry twins. So I actually had to have surgery to close my cervix. Um, so I had to have surgery, and he would not wake up the morning of my surgery. He had got so drunk the night before, I tried waking him up. I wasn't even in drinking. What are you about? Mr. Kramer, I'm going to get to you. Um, I was about to drive myself to the hospital to have surgery when his family member that stayed the night at our house that night jumped up and left with me and took me. I remember waking up in the recovery room, upset, crying at the fact, you know, I just went through surgery. You know, it, not only me, but you know, I'm pregnant with your two babies, and he's not there. Did did you did you fail to be a good husband when you, when your wife was carrying and possibly losing your two children? Here's the thing: when I first met her, she was this perfect little angel mm -hmm. that always did everything for me, never an attitude, never. And uh, shortly after we got married, just one day, she turned into the devil. That's the devil right That's there. That's the devil right That's there. That's the devil. <laughs> When divorce court continues, why didn't Brandon heed the warning signs? You woke up on the day of your wedding and you needed time to think it through again. Right, and her family member told me not to do it because she's the devil. Is the ink on your marriage license barely dry, but you're already ready to call it quits? Call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court returns with the case of Brandon Kramer, who says his wife Amber is hell on wheels. But is it Brandon who needs to cool off? She decides to go in the freezer, grab a freezing cold bottle of water and pours it all over you while I'm sleeping. Tell me what the devil was doing. Uh, this, I mean... I, I, she holds me hostage in the house all the time. I can't How does do she nothing. hold you hostage? Like, I can't do anything. Like, anything that doesn't involve her is, like, the end of the world, you know? Like, the day of our marriage, like, I woke up, we were getting ready, and I was, like, trying to second think everything. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I didn't know her that long, you know? Hold up, hold up. You woke up on the day of your wedding, and you, were, you needed time to think it through again. Right. Because you didn't quite know her well right, enough. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, I got to talk to her, and I'm like, uh, I really want to do this right now. Maybe we should just wait a little bit, because I really didn't know her like that. And her family member told me not to do it, because she's the devil. And y she told you that on the, the family member told you that on the wedding day? She told me that several that. times. Several times. Several times. How long did you know each other before you married her? Six months. No, it was close to a year. A close to a year. Yeah. But you hadn't seen the devil at all in that entire year. It wasn't filming yet. Because I got tired of putting up with his stuff is what it was. I paid for everything. Since the day I met him, I was the one who supported him. I was the one who took care of him. I cared to every need he had, but he shows absolutely no respect. This he, he calls me fat. He calls me ugly. I mean, he's called me names I can't even say on here. Um, the same person she met is the same person I am now. No, he's like, so, well, well, hang on, hang on. You, and what person is that? I mean, do you call her fat and ugly and all that stuff? Oh, yeah, now I do, yeah. Now you do. That's now you do. Were. So you have changed. Well, verbally, yeah. Verbally. Now, what are you so upset about? Uh, the, the, this whole thing? Yeah. I mean, what's she doing? She's cheating on me. Well, well there she you go. Through. Now, that's a solid thing. That's not true, Your Honor. That's not true. Okay. Tell me about her cheating. Well, she decided to go to a concert with her ex-boyfriend. And she tried to hide it until the day she went. Did you do that? I give him that. I did do that. <laughs> but it was because of what concert it was. Mm -hmm. It was a Marilyn Manson concert. It not matter. And you went with your If it was anything else, I would not have done it. But in my defense, which I know it's not a good defense, um, he went to Florida and stayed at his ex's house in her bed you told for me four leave. days. You told me but to I leave. didn't tell him to get another woman's bed. bed. Yeah, right, yeah. So I, I, get there, that, I get that. I mean, I thought she was an angel, but... Well, tell me, what, 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 what does she do when she's being the devil? Eyes get all red, you know. I well, well, wait a minute now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're not talking about... 
I mean, one day. Morphing into the physical being. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I was, you know, because I, you know, I like to drink beer, you know. Yeah. I was drinking one night. I laid down. She was watching TV. The kids were in bed. And all, like, all of a sudden, she's like, Brandon, get up and go get the baby. It's like 12 midnight. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I don't feel too well. I drank too much, you know. I just wanted to relax. So I'm drunk. You yeah, leave me alone. Exactly. He drank too much. And she, she, she decides to go in the freezer, grab a freezing cold bottle of water, and pours it all over me while I'm sleeping. You know? Can I, mean, I that's ask you, Mr. Kramer, how often do you get drunk during the course of the week? Every, Every day. day. Yeah. Oh. Let, me yeah but now, let me explain how the ice water happens. When you got a guy, you got a 14-month-old kid, twins, and you're going to school, and you're doing all that, and you got a guy that's drunk every night, you're tired, you're exhausted, you're frustrated, you're angry, next thing you know, you got water in your hand. But she... When Divorce Court continues, is Brandon coming up light on the loving? I've had to bribe him with beer to have sex before. I had to tell him I would go get him some beer to have sex. Do you think it was inappropriate for Amber to go to a concert with her ex-boyfriend? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. Receive some valuable offers. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Amber Kramer, who says her husband Brandon is not living up to the man he promised to be. But Judge Lynn has news for Amber. Get married, that guy you date, not the one he promises I'm going to come. He's very degrading. Like I said, he Give calls, me some examples of the things that he says to he you. He calls me fat. He calls me ugly. He says he can do better than me. He um, tells me... Well, I have three kids, um, our, w including our twin. He tells me to take off my clothes and stand in front of a mirror, talking about stretch marks. Um, he talks about other girls, how much prettier they are than I am. Um, he told me that he wished he would have never married me, that he wished that we would not, he, I wouldn't have been the mother of his kids. Um, that's right. Th there's a lot more. All of those things you said. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I'm the devil now. Because before, you know, I've done everything for him. But then after a, certain amount, of time, on. After a certain amount of time, you can't keep putting up with the same stuff. Like, it, he was bad when I met him. But, you know, he promised me all kinds of different things. You know, that he was going to support us, that he loved me and would be a great dad. You married I'm the not. guy you date, not the one he promises to I'm become. Not. But that is why I have changed. And even in the bedroom, there's nothing going on. Like, he can't perform for anything. Because I don't want to. I sleep That's on the couch. That's what he says. I he says sleep that on the he couch. doesn't want to. But what man doesn't want to have sex? I'd rather sleep on the couch than deal with that any night. I've had to bribe him with beer to have sex before. I had to tell him I would go get him some beer to have sex. If, she, if he would have sex with you. Yes. She and makes, that's sad. She makes me do it. She makes me do it. Like, she'll be like, you're going to do this right now or we're going to have problems. I wish I'd have known now, uh, known then what I know now, because he's not ready to really be a dad. When he leaves, he goes and parties with his friends. He'll stay gone for days. Um, he, he'll go to his friend's house with a bunch of girls. They'll party. And I'm stuck at home how, how many with times all three that? of my kids, taking care of them. Um, they, my twins have medical problems, so I have to take them to and from the doctor a lot. He'll just sit at home, and I'm carrying two twin infants and a three or four year old around, you know, to ch uh, like two hours from our house. Now, m m Mr. Kramer, is all that going on while you, you know, drinking and gaming? Yeah, but. Don't you feel, I mean, just, 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 let's just forget the part there about her being a devil and all that. <laughs> Don't you feel that those kids kind of need you? Because that's a lot. Two 14 month olds with medical problems and a four year old. How, how could you see that struggle? and not want to become involved. It's just, she, she, lead, she she's not with the kids all the time. That's a, that was a lie, first of all. Like, she, when she gets home, she does take them to the doctor and all that, but when she gets home, she pawns them off on me. I'm the one that has to take them both out of the car. 
I'm the one that has to feed them all the time. Do you think you really ought not do anything in a marriage other than be there? No. That's what you think? That's what I think. You think when you get married, the woman does all the work, she takes care of the kids, she takes care of you, and, and, and you can drink and game. That's what she wanted at first. No, no, never. When divorce court continues, Judge Lee sums up Brandon in a nutshell. Have you, you cheated know. on her? No, never. And never I don't think he has. I think he's, he's too lazy to go out and find something. Yeah. Like that. She'll just flip out, you know, she'll just, you know, try to smack me and stuff like that. Uh, I'll be on Facebook and I'll be scrolling down and a picture will be coming up and, sh and she'll say, you better keep scrolling or, you know, we're going to have big problems. And Have you, you know, cheated on her? No, never. It never I don't think he mind. has. I think he's, he's too lazy to go out and find somebody. He was at his ex's house for three days sleeping in her bed. So, and you don't think nothing happened? He, he was gone for four days, three of those days. He was in his ex's house, in her bed, sleeping, and he told me that. But he tells me nothing happened, but of course a man's going to say nothing happened. But, yeah. Uh, why don't you tell me, Mrs. Kramer, you are seeking uh, just $348. Why don't you tell me what it is you're asking me to award you today? Uh, when he went to Florida, he stole my laptop that I had just got for school um, and pawned it. And when I got it out of home, I had to pay $178 to get it back, uh -huh. and then um, for when, in order for him to come home from Florida, I had to wire him $170. Mm -hmm. That was your decision, though. That's $348 that you get out of all this pain and suffering. Oh, no. You want you want that back, the money that uh, you took the, la the laptop and pawned it, mm -hmm. and, and the tickets that you had to send him yeah, back. Yeah, because I, I funded his trip to Florida and didn't even know it. Right. You know, he stole all my stuff to fund his trip. Mr. Mr. Kramer, do you have a response to that? Man, why did I pawn her stuff? Get away from her, you know? But you didn't have her permission, true. I didn't, but, you know, she told me to leave. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to leave with no money? That's not my problem. If he, if he thinks he can do better and deserves better, then he can do it on his own. <laughs> Mr. Kramer, you are trifling and tired and tacky and low down. <laughs> What's even sadder than that, I think you know you are tacky and tired and trifling and blow down, and you don't really care. And Mrs. Kramer, I'm a little mad at you. People are who they are. Mm -hmm. They're what you see. They're what they do. And if they can't do any better, they aren't going to be any better. And a ring doesn't change anything at all. I never got one to yeah. begin with. Okay, okay, I, I want a tight shot at Mr. Kramer. Ladies, when you see him, <laughs> run. <laughs> if you want to be trifling and low down, that's your business. You know what I mean? You, you can do that. You can be foolish and drunk and laying on the couch. But don't bring a woman with you. Don't bring children in the world. Stay by yourself with that nonsense. We don't need that kind of trouble. I wish you all the luck in the world. I wish you'd have sued him for more because I'd have given it to you. <laughs> but as it is, I will give you the $348 that you sought. This matter is adjourned. Thank you. All right. Parties may leave the court. Amber says she is happy with her decision to divorce Brandon. Brandon is denying the paternity of the twins, and according to Amber, he's moving back to Florida. She says Judge Lynn's advice helped her gain the perspective she needed in order to make the right choices about her life with Brandon. After everything.